Hi everyone and welcome to Rob Evans 365. It's day number 392 and you're joining me in the gym again today. Uh, it's, uh, it's freezing cold outside. Uh, it's kind of early morning and I wanted to not only warm up but I've got a busy day today and I, I wanted to get my workout over and done with earlier than I, I normally would. And today what I wanted to talk to you about was if I had to start all over again in terms of my health and fitness journey, what would I do? So how would I become a success? Because you look at me now and say, well, that's easy for you to say, look at what you've been doing for so long. Uh, I'm starting from a completely different spot. So how do I get to, to that stage? I've been doing it for 30 years and refining things every step of the way. Well, what I'm going to talk to you about today is that I'm, so I'm starting again. I have, let's just say that I'm in a position where, uh, for me, I wanted to gain muscle. I wanted to, uh, you know, completely change my physique, I wanted to gain muscle. Now whether you want to gain muscle or lose weight, the same principles are going to apply. So 30 years on from when I started, it's a much more different world that we live in and the health and fitness space has changed so much. I think where the, the difficulty becomes for people now is there is so much information so, you know, we're starving for wisdom as to what to do, but there's so much knowledge out there that we don't know, or well, where do we go to? Because you could go, you, you know, I could think of, you know, a bunch of different diets and you say, okay, well, maybe I'll do, I'll do keto, I'll do paleo, I'll do, uh, you know, shakes, I'll do um, drugs, uh, you know, to get me to where it is that I, I want to get to. But it's much easier to get the information now than it was back when I was. Like 30 years ago, the internet didn't exist uh, in, in my world to be able to, to use it. I can't remember, it didn't it just have a 30 year birthday of the internet? So it was only just starting out. So the amount of content that was on available on the internet was very limited back then. But now it's just crazy. So uh, in today's environment, the very first thing that I would do is get a coach, okay? Find the best fitness coach that you can find and work with them immediately because the, the one thing that they will do is they will, a good one, will fast track your results and you will get there in a much faster period of time is if you're trying to do it by yourself and trying to wade through all the different things and trying different things. Like people come to me for weight loss or to gain muscle, say, okay, bang, this is what you need to do, this is why you need to do it. It's scientifically proven, we've got multiple different solutions for you, and this is why you need to do it. I will coach you every step of the way. Here are the accountability tools that you need. This is where you need to be at this point. This is what we need to make sure that we're doing every single week so that we know that we're making progress. Um, you know, the, the different programs. I can give you any different program that you want to uh, help you achieve the goal that you want to achieve, whether it's world-class athletic performance uh, or whether it's uh, just a mum and dad wanting to improve their overall health. We've got a program to do that. So um, uh, that's what a great coach will do. So if I had to start all over again, that is the very first thing that I would do. And then what that great coach would do for you is walk you through these, uh, you know, this process. And that is really clearly defining what it is that you want to achieve, being very, very specific. You need to create a very clear vision in your mind, in your mind's eye, to say, this is exactly what I want that to look like. And your fitness coach can help maybe put some polish on that, but you need to be very clear what it is that you want. Otherwise, you're just going to be guessing and you, your results are going to be mediocre. And the next thing is the most powerful one, which is why it is that you want to achieve it. Because once you connect with that, we're talking about 
uh, rest of your life change here, not just something for here and now, but being able to achieve that life change. And uh, that's what's important. And it might be a case of, uh, let's just take uh, someone like uh, Kerry Pothouse, who I'm dealing with on a daily basis now. There might be a point where she had said, well, I want to achieve Olympic gold. I need to achieve it by this year. You know, this particular year, say six years, but she was a three-time Olympian. So what, she went to 92, 96, and 2000, she won gold. And say, so, okay, well, it's a 12-year goal. And uh, then, you know, that's probably going to be it for my body and so forth, athleticism by that age. That needs to be it. So you always need to hit different milestones by, by that point. Um, so you know, that can be a slightly different goal to then, you know, overall long-term health. Now she works in that space, so that is her goal now. So that's shifted. So your goal will shift over time, um, but your, your good fitness coach will, will get you to where you want to get to fast and help you identify those things. But you've got to identify within you why, why it's so important. Um, because only you will be able to truly uncover why something is so important to you. And unless you do, you won't ever truly light that fire within you or keep it burning to give you the outcomes that you want. It'll always just be ho-hum, half-assed, if you excuse my language, to to achieve mediocrity. Um, So I find that that is really, really important. And then once you've got those things in place, you find that you will connect every single thing to do to get you to your goal. Every mouthful of food that you take, every supplement that you take uh, will get you closer and closer uh, to that goal and you, you won't want to move off it. I think about my, my leg press record this week of 300 kilos. Uh, that would not have happened without the specific focus that I've had to achieve that result. Every mouthful of food I'm taking, uh, the, the supplements that I take, uh, I don't miss them, as in I don't skip them. Uh, I'm making sure that I get every single day in um, the little processes and procedures that I go through to make sure that I've got meals prepared, I've got my supplements available, um, I'm doing it on a regular basis and I feel fantastic. Now we're in the, the heart of winter and again another batch of flus and colds are coming coming our way um, but I still feel fantastic and strong and motivated uh, so I think that's uh, that's to me they're, they're the couple of big things uh, your coach outlining what it is that you specifically want your goals putting these things in writing and then your uh, your good fitness coach will I set you on this right path and this is what I do with my clients but you want to be setting yourself up with daily mind feeding strategic thinking uh, inspiration uh, so that you start each day in the right frame of mind making sure that you're maximizing your productivity and the outputs of every single day you go back and listen to some of my other podcasts where I talk about how to, uh, to get the most out of your weekends and the, the productivity out of your days and have a look at the, the process that I go through to uh, maximise what I get out of my day. When you find that you're doing this for yourself, you find you, you'll, you'll get all the areas of your life working seamlessly and uh, you are be getting some amazing outcomes for yourself, uh, not, just your, not just your health. Um, but the strategic thinking, uh, doing that every single day, is really, really important. Um, I initially started listening to just stuff on YouTube and uh, getting the, I guess, the most out of, uh, of those to help inspire me each day to, to dig a little deeper and maximize my um, 
I suppose my focus for the day was the was the main thing that I was, I was doing with that. And I guess yeah, you, you have to be careful because you can just be pumped up for the sake of being pumped up and not not necessarily focused, if I can say that. You're you're pumped up just for being pumped up, but you're not actually achieving anything. So you've got to make sure that you don't just listen and say, oh yeah, that was fantastic, but by lunchtime, the end of the day or whatever, you're exactly back where you were before. Because the mind of a champion is the mind of a champion all the time, 24-7. You have a hunger for it so great that um, it's, it's really part of you. Like every fibre of you. It's not just something that, okay, it's time for a workout like I'm doing right now. It's like I live my life around the workouts. The workout is just where I get to do the muscle stimulus. But it's everything that happens around my day that gets me here. It gets me to focus in the workout and then maximise its, its outputs. That's, what's, um, that's what burns the soles of my feet to keep moving forward day after day after day and to me that's what's exciting that's where the results come that's where life happens that's what makes it beautiful Um, I think with the um, well again your good fitness coach is going to set you up with this but the I think the two critical components that helped me initially, I I was very motivated uh, to do what I I wanted to do, Uh, but uh, what was essential for me is the right program, the right training program, so the right physical exercises, knowing that I was going to an expert uh, for those, and then the next one was the food. So the, the meal plan that I originally started on wasn't anything near as detailed as I do for people right now uh, but it gave me the basis for what I needed to do and it gave me confidence that I would get it right um, because it was very straightforward and easy to follow and I think uh, if I was doing it all again absolutely getting that nutritional advice that nutritional information fundamental because if you're not putting the right fuel into your body uh, it really doesn't matter how much training uh, you're going to be doing. You are just not going to get the results uh, that you want to. It's as simple as that. That really is. Um, I, I, I would say 80 to 100% of someone's body transformation comes down to the fuel that they're putting into their body. And most people, some at the gym right now, it's not so busy, but... Uh, I would say that at least hmm, 80% plus of the people here do not give their uh, their food enough focus. Uh, they just don't. Maybe one, because they don't know what to do, or uh, they might know what to have an inkling of what to do, but they don't really know how to do it properly. Uh, so they just they just flounder, come for the workout. Um, so that would be the, the other big thing that I would uh, rec- recommend that you would do if I was starting from scratch again. So I, I guess that's probably a fairly good summary of, of what it is that I'd be doing. So just to, to recap, getting that fitness coach, getting that accountability and I didn't have a, a trainer as such, I was doing it all by myself, but getting that coach that's going to help you get those results fast, it keeps setting new goals for you, um, essential. Um, setting, being very clear as to what you want, your goals, articulating those, uh, what you want, why you want it, articulating it, writing it down so it's front of mind for you all day, every day being very specific as to why you want it. And I would write these things down too. Um, the other thing that I would say is about doing fitness assessments regularly, doing your measurements, doing your body fat, 
uh, getting the um, your blood tests and, and everything to see. So where is your health inside and out right now? Have a body fat test, a full body composition test, so that you can always measure that against that. Now, I never did that when I first started. They didn't do measurements. It was just based on weight. And the rest of it was for me just saying, I want to outgrow all my clothes. Uh, but that would be another thing that I would do. The um, st daily strategic thinking, making sure that you're maximizing what it is that you want to get out of every day, um, not only just your, your nutrition and, and so forth, but uh, just everything in general. Uh, that daily inspirational uh, listening, whether it be YouTube stuff or uh, you know, finding good podcasts like this one here, other ones that you find inspirational uh, to get more out of uh, your day. You might learn, learn something. Um, getting your meal plan, getting a great training program set up by your fitness coach and the results will come. They will just come. I always encourage people to get more knowledge too. So I would say, you know, invest in yourself. Always keep investing, always keep learning, keep growing, keep listening to stuff, keep reading things. But most of all, keep taking action because you can just listen passively and not do anything. I'm talking about uh, taking, uh, taking big action uh, to um, progress everything in life forward. Um, particularly health and fitness in the context we're talking here, really important. So that's what I would do if I was starting again. Have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow.